All right, today I want to talk to you about a quick tip for getting reliable single point video autofocus on the Canon EOS M. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around, let's jump into it. Now, the Canon EOS M is a very old camera. I think it might be even getting to like 15 or 16 years old. And so the autofocusing system on this camera is pretty old, pretty basic. But with the uh, advantage of shooting in crop mood, which is a hacked firmware that you can use on the Canon EOS M, it allows you to shoot raw video. And this is some of the best uh, budget raw video that I've seen out there. And a problem that I'm always having is that I wanna carry the Canon EOS M around uh, in my daily life, in my jacket pocket here and I want to just use it to capture quick moments of things that are happening. Now I've got the iPhone 15 Pro for wide shots, um, extra wide shots, um, all that sort of stuff but I found the Canon EOS M to be really good for any sort of uh, portraiture or any sort of uh, subject isolation. Now the problem is though often when you're out and about and you're just trying to document your daily life if you need to manually focus this thing with the really poor back screen, uh, often you're not hitting focus and it's just a bit of a pain in the butt. So I haven't been using video autofocus on the Canon EOS M and the other day, I kind of just stumbled upon it accidentally uh, and I want to get into that quick tip today about how to get a good autofocus on the Canon EOS M. So firstly on the stills mode, I've noticed that the autofocus is relatively fast. It's not obviously 2024 standards, but when you're just shooting pictures, you know, it can focus pretty quickly. And then I couldn't understand why video autofocus was much slower. And so with crop mode, uh, when you're trying to use uh, autofocus in the normal mode, it's just it just hunts and it just takes forever and half and most of the time it don't, won't actually lock onto anything. And so I just thought it was no good, shouldn't use it. All right, so the way that you achieve this quick single point autofocus on the Canon EOSM is as you are shooting, you are in the crop mode uh, graphic interface that you get here, you can choose a mode where you actually get um, the, some of the Canon original graphic interface that pops up. And you'll see that there is a magnifying glass that pops up. So if you tap that twice, it actually takes you out to this like uh, super wide field of view. I think it's taking you out to what the field of view is before some of the crops that get applied by uh, crop mood and so this actually gives you a few seconds before it returns back to the five uh, times zoom uh, in, in the graphical interface uh, which allows you to use essentially the camera uh, or the still autofocus and to lock focus now you've only got two or three seconds so you need to be quick but this method allows you to capture quick single point autofocus that is acting exactly like a photo and then all you just need to do is hit record after that and that object or that item is in focus so really useful way of capturing in focus content with the canon eos m and not having to manual focus this is just a tip i wanted to share with you guys so that you can start to get better in focus shots when using crop mood on the canon eos m and the other uh, crop mood cameras so if you have any questions or comments about how to actually do this on your camera or if you just have any other questions or comments about the canon usm generally please put them down in the comments below i'd love you to subscribe if you're able to i'm trying to build this channel and the whole idea of this channel is that i take budget um gear and i try and get the best looking image out of it so uh right now i'm focusing on the iphone 15 pro and the canon usm so yeah thanks for checking out this video and i'll catch you in the next one